the modals need and dare. In this module, you'll learn how to use the modals need and dare. Modals are auxiliaries or helping verbs. Modals such as need and dare are used to modify the meaning of the main verb by suggesting necessity, obligation, and so on. Let's look at this example to understand the use of modals need and dare. Need we spring clean the entire house, Mum? Yes, of course. We need to clean the entire house. Chinese New Year is just a week away. Mum, I'm sorry I can't help you. I have a lot of assignments to do. Don't you dare lie to me. I've checked with your class teacher. She said no assignments were given out. Come on, let's start the cleaning now. Look at the first sentence. Need we spring clean the entire house, Mum? Paul doubts if they really need a spring clean for the entire house. How does she ask his mom? Need we spring clean the entire house, Mum? How does his mom reply, affirming the action to be done? Yes, of course. We need to clean the entire house. Chinese New Year is just a week away. Then, when she hears Paul lying about his homework to avoid the spring cleaning activity, how did she express her outrage? Don't you dare lie to me. Note that if we use the word need to show doubt, we can put it in front of the main subject to make a question. If we use the word need to show it is necessary to do something, we can put it after the main subject, followed by the infinitive with to. If we use the word dare to show outrage or strong disapproval, we can have the mixed modal and ordinary verb structure. Let us look at some more examples. On Chinese New Year's Day, the Chinese people need to eat a vegetarian dish called jai. Other food items include whole fish and chicken. They do not dare to cut off the chicken's head, tail, or feet. They need to present the whole chicken to symbolize completeness. They also dare sweep or dust. Dare can also be used as an ordinary verb followed by an infinitive too. They do not dare to cut off the chicken's head, tail, or feet. Dare can also be used as a modal, followed by an infinitive without to. They also daren't sweep or dust. Let's summarize. The word need is used in front of the main subject of a sentence to express doubt. The word need is used after the main subject of a sentence followed by the infinitive to to express the necessity of doing something. The word dare is used to show outrage or strong disapproval in a mixed modal and ordinary verb structure. Dare can also be used as an ordinary verb followed by the infinitive with to. Dare can also be used as a modal followed by an infinitive without to. In this module, you have learned how to use the modals need and dare.